Hey guys, Bipolar Barbie here, and this is an old video that I made about my experiences with borderline personality disorder, and it is, I guess, very raw and honest, and it's taking a reflective look on some of the things that I've learned and my experiences. This one is about dating a narcissist. Most people that I've spoken to, honestly, like every every person that I've spoken to kind of like in that 45 to like 50, 60 year old category has honestly said to me that they just don't want to be with their partners anymore. And that they feel like marriage, once you get to a certain age, once you've been with someone for so many years, should be like registering your car. Like you get, you know, a letter um, every year and then you can choose like, yes, do I want to renew my marriage or no, do I just like, is that no deal? Like, is it is it time up? Um, and I just think that's like really hilarious. And I think the reason for that is people's needs are so important. What people need in life have the ability to control them. And I think that's where like my last relationship really came in. When I first met him, what I needed was connection. What I needed was reassurance that I was a good person. And you know what, he really provided that for me. He taught me that I could be loved and adored for who I was as a person. And he validated me in so many ways. He really understood me and I will be forever grateful for that. But I feel like at some point I didn't kind of need that anymore. Like he'd given me what, what I needed. He'd made me be confident in myself. And kind of once those needs had been fulfilled, I had different needs. My needs were to work on myself. My needs were to like, you know, get my level of functioning back to kind of be me. And I think our needs just didn't align. I couldn't provide the things that he needed, which was like connection, reassurance, and, and all sorts of things like that. I just couldn't provide them for him. So we kind of just really clashed. We, I kind of resented him for how needy he was being. And I think I could just see the pain in his eyes for the fact that he felt like I didn't care about him. And honestly, I just didn't anymore because I didn't need him. And I know that's kind of really sad, but I think when you don't need someone, you really realize whether or not you actually want to be with them. And there's no shame in admitting that, that you don't want to be with someone anymore. Like you shouldn't force yourself to be with someone. You shouldn't feel obligated to be with someone that is, is either not right for you or just you're not feeling it. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think like forever is really an attainable kind of standard to hold yourself to. That's what the whole thing about my story of a borderline princess is about. It's, it's about this idea that life is not a fairy tale. Love is not a fairy tale. Um, there are conditions on love. No one is ever really going to love you unconditionally. And there's not often going to be like a happily ever after. Um, not every like frog is going to turn into a prince. Some of them turn into a toad. Some princes actually end up turning into frogs. Like it's all been this like magic spell and illusion. I also like kind of the whole message and the realization that I had this year and the whole message that I really want to portray with this book and, and spread to like the women of the world, the borderlines of the world, like anyone really is that I was kind of a princess like kicked out of the castle and I think for a long time I tried to fill that void with princes. It was almost like I needed a prince to kind of like validate my claim to kind of this crown um, to feel like I was worthy. But really at the end of the day, it was my birthright to be a queen and I shouldn't endeavor to be rescued like a damsel in distress. You know what? Like, I don't want you to save me. I, I just want to save myself. And if you're going to be there, if you're going to like be by my side, I think like that's incredible. My goal in life right now is to endeavor to be like the queen that I was really born to be, that all of us really have within us. I want to be the strongest and best version of myself. And I think if you can't love yourself, then you can't expect someone else to love you. Um, and that's going to cause massive issues in your relationship. And also, like, if you don't know who you are, then how can, you know, you expect to find someone who is compatible for you? Really looking at what you need in a relationship, honestly, like not just the things that you want, but I had to look at the things that I really needed as a borderline and kind of having a checklist. I think like I really undervalued myself for so long. I just, I just got into like people, like relationships with people who kind of didn't deserve me um, in the sense that they just, they didn't treat me right. They didn't value the things that I had to offer because I didn't value them about myself. 
And I think you're allowed to be picky. God, there are so many people in this world. There's more people in this world than ever. Like, never settle. You don't need to settle. Be single. Learn to be alone. Like, learn to be okay with being alone and your own company. Because not, not just like for the fact that it will separate you from your partner to stop you from getting into a position where you're in like a codependent relationship, like you can't live without someone. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I would love to know your thoughts on it and uh you know comment down below feel free to share this video around because you know if you think that more people need to see it please make sure that you give me a thumbs up that would be really really awesome and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do it for more awesome videos thanks guys